This is Greg Tech 6, the latest official version of Greg Tech released by Gregorius Technetuses. Gregorius has been developing Greg Tech 6 since about 2015. For Minecraft 1.7, it is his personal project. Most versions of modern Greg Tech are based off of the original Greg Tech 5. This is Greg Tech 6, since it diverged from Greg Tech 5 in 2015. It is quite different from what you would expect. Even the world generation looks really weird. You got things like milky quartz, limestone that looks like concrete, and enough different colored stones to make a pride flag. Greg Tech 6 is almost a completely different game from modern Greg Tech. The beginning plays like terra firma craft, because you have to get primitive tools and heat up crucibles to get your first bronze. The footage I am using right now is from Bear's Den. One of the only Greg Tech 6 YouTube channels on Earth, Greg Tech 6 is really underrated, only a small subset of players play it, but it's also really cursed. Let's take a quick look at what Greg Tech 6 adds to Greg Tech 5. Everything looks weird here, Greg Tech 6 expanded the Greg Tech 5 cover system, adding about 1 jillion different covers. They also added a temperature system. You are supposed to check the temperature of the crucible while it's smelting stuff. It leads to waiting a lot and having to check on the machine every few seconds. This is typical of the Gregic experience. The energy tiers have also been changed. After UV, ultimate voltage, there's PUV1, which stands for something that I don't know. If you know what PUV1 means, tell me in the comments. Greg really doesn't care about realism though. There are literally magic, signalum, and ender circuits. Greg cares about Minecraft, not hyper-realistic processing chains like the modern Greg Tech community. Greg Tech 6 also adds different types of buckets, cans of fluid, and about 80 different tools so you can be a real engineer. Greg also added several hundred foods and beverages to his mod. Greg wants to integrate everything into his own mod so that it can have all the content without having to add other mods for more food. And yes, Greg Tech 6 is probably one of the first mods to add an insanely convoluted beverage system. We have everything from mineral water, to Coca-Cola, to fruit juices, to the distilled tears of Vladimir Rilich Lenin. Greg also added laxatives, which decrease hunger, and medicines, which increase health. But Greg Tech 6 starts not being okay when we look at the dusts. We have small dusts, normal dusts, tiny dusts, and this. One divided by 72 dusts. What? Why would anyone need this? This is useless. And we thought Greg Tech's materials couldn't get worse when Greg added purified dusts, purified ores, crushed ores, small crushed ores, and refined ores. Oh, and I forgot. Bulls. 5 types of gemstones, chunks, nuggets, 5 types of ingots and 6 types of plates, and 10 different tools, and glass bottles, and crates of dusts, gems, machine casings of 3 types, and just about everything. Greg even managed to add a bee system, like the one for forestry into Greg Tech 6. We might think that his choices are quite weird, but Greg hasn't had any contact with the community in about 6 years. He's just not mainstream. Greg Tech 6 is mostly played by enthusiasts, but it is really popular in Russia and China. Chinese players invented Terraforma Rescue, a mod pack that combines this and TFC. Pure hell to play. But anyways, the most important part of any version of Greg Tech is the energy. Let's see what Gregorius Technetisus did here. Surely he must have changed it, right? The problem is that when the subject of Greg Tech 6 energy is broached, our sparing human intellects instantly assume the most ingratiating posture of surrender imaginable. But we will do our best to understand regardless. GT5 has only one form of energy, and though we consider it a complicated subject, spanning a wide range of tiers, machines, and implications for chains, it is ultimately a superficial slice of what GT6 considers the full body of energetic experience. Our concept of energy, in spite of its capacity to fill our art and literature and to rule our individual destinies like little else, is still just that, a single, linear concept, a concept usually denoted by a single symbol. U slash T, GT6 is more complicated than that. GT6 needs seven symbols, who, 
NFT is heat energy, made from burning boxes and electric heaters, they are used with a crucible, Ku, T is kinetic energy, made by a piston going back and forth in an engine, it's the energy required by a crusher, a sifter and a compressor, Ru, T is rotation energy, made by spinning turbines, or in a portable diesel engine, it's used by a lot of basic machines, so having several good Ru, T producers is critical. EU slash T is electric energy, encountered during the electric age, yep, you only get to the electric age quite late in GT6. Because it changes quite a lot in Greg Tech, Mu, T is magnetic energy, generated by electromagnets, it's a less frequently used energy type, Lu, T is laser energy, generated by electric CO2 lasers, it will become important later for engraving circuits, Ku, T is quantum excitement energy, this is used by the matter replicator chain, end game stuff, converted from laser energy, thanks for watching.